If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner and you are on the road like I am and you're wanting to create a decent looking Zoom setup but you don't have your usual office setup with its lights, its microphone and everything else, then stick around. This is the video for you. I'm going to show you a nifty ninja little setup that you can use in your hotel room just using daylight. Let's get into the content now. So here we are in the hotel room in question. It's a perfectly serviceable room. It's not a massive suite or anything. It's kind of a standard four star-ish type hotel room in the UK. Um, the first thing that you are gonna need to um, know, obviously, is where the window is, where the light is coming from. That will determine where you're gonna put your laptop or camera, um, because obviously that needs light. So let's crack on and do a little bit of rearranging of the room so that we get the optimum position for the computer with the little webcam inside it. So you can see in a couple of seconds, I have um, arranged things how they need to be. Uh, obviously table with the laptop on top of it and the chair where I will be sitting is directly facing into the window. Now, as you can see, my view from my hotel room is of a delightful busy road. However, the main important thing here is that on the windows, they are diffused by um, some netting which is great because it means the light is a softer light coming through the window which will mean that there won't be hopefully many issues with the camera in terms of finding exposure and the light will also because it is softer will wrap around my face more and be more complimentary which is obviously a good thing so why am i shooting this video on my phone well it's actually to prove to everyone that you can create really valuable content just by using your phone. It doesn't need to be done with expensive kit. You really can crack on right now and create really, really good quality video content. So I hope this is serving as an illustration for you. Well, that's at least the idea anyway. Let's crack on. So there we have my hastily assembled Ninja little setup uh, version one. However, I can tell you already that actually by the time I sit in that seat, um, my eyes will be looking down at the camera, which is obviously in the top bit of that laptop, which is not um, a great look. You want to be on the same level as the camera. Your eye line needs to be at the same level. So there we go. That is a homemade tripod for jacking up the level of the camera in the laptop. Um, that should now be on my eye level, so be a lot more flattering for me. So now I'm talking to you on my laptop camera. Handily on this particular model, it's a Mac, there's a little green light so I know where the camera is. That's one of the most critical things when you're delivering any kind of speech or having a chat with someone on Zoom. Just remember that the people live in the camera. They don't live on your screen. So if you're looking at your screen, the eye line will look very odd. You'll look slightly like you're looking below them. So always talk directly down the camera. First things first, I wanna have a look at the, the lighting. It feels okay, it's soft. I'm illuminated, I'm brighter than the background is and that is critical because anything bright in the background will be a distraction. Now the other thing that is a massive distraction as you've probably noticed already is the state of my background. Always pay attention to what is in the back of shot. Uh, so give me a couple of minutes, I'm gonna tidy things up and come straight back to you and we can carry on. So I've got rid of the spurious bags in the background and I have also tidied up my bed a little bit as well. So that's looking a little bit more acceptable. The only thing I would say, I still feel like I'm looking slightly down toward the camera and that's why you can see the ceiling. So this whole laptop needs to go up a bit. So I'm just going to do that by the addition of an extra book. What I've actually done, I've, I've modified the setup slightly. I've gone slightly higher so that my eye line is, um, you know, just going slightly up towards the camera. Um, it's, a, it's a more flattering angle, frankly. Um, it means that you guys aren't looking at the ceiling or up my nose, which is, uh, you know, we've had enough of nostril shots, I think, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, I've also just have a little bit of a tweak in the background, make sure that things are as neat as they can be. Obviously, you know, we're constrained by the fact that I am in a relatively small hotel room, so there's gonna be a limit to what you can achieve in this kind of setup, but it's just about making it as professional looking as you possibly can. The point is that with this frame, um, the background is darker than I am. I'm the illuminated one, therefore the main event is me. 
um, which is as it should be. You don't want people being distracted by what's in the background, trying to read books or things coming out of people's heads, stuff like that, because you want people to be engaged and present uh, whenever you're kind of in interacting with them on video conferencing or for that matter if you're doing a video like I'm doing right now. And the final piece of this puzzle is the sound. Now as I said before this is all very lo-fi it's literally laptop and I've been filming the other bits on my Samsung phone so it's not whiz bang at all I've not brought in special lenses or cameras or doing slow-mo this that or the other or you know fancy microphones I'm literally all I'm using is the microphone that comes and the headphones that come with my Samsung phone. So, you know, just using that and a laptop with a webcam, you can create something that people can hear you, which is the critical, critical thing. If you have got bad sound, people will switch off very quickly and you'll lose them and they won't come back. You know, the point is that you're not using the microphone either in your phone if you're doing a Zoom call on your phone please don't rely on the microphone in the phone itself because it picks up lots of extraneous background noise that's not as focused as a, as a microphone like this is. Um, and the same goes for um, microphones that are in laptops, the sort of default mic on laptops, just because of the distance that I'm sitting away from the laptop. It just means it'll pick up lots of extraneous noise. It'll also pick up the ambient. If there's an echo, it'll pick that up. Whereas this is much more of a sort of directional setup. So just think about the sound. People need to be engaged, like I said before, uh, and you don't want anything kind of um, compromising that. So there you have it, a perfectly serviceable video conferencing slash Zoom setup that you can set up with no bells or whistles in your hotel room, just using daylight and a window with a diffused net across it and a little bit of consideration about your background and thought into how you're going to mic yourself up. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please press the little uh, like button. And if you're into this kind of content that you find it helpful and it's your cup of tea, I'd love you to join our community. So definitely think about subscribing to our channel. Uh, definitely click on the screen in a second for the next video and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.